Myanmar trip. Myanmar is a remote village nestled in the heart of Sri Lanka known for its breathtaking natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. This small secluded community is situated in the central highlands of the island, surrounded by lush forests, majestic mountains and pristine streams. The village's isolation has helped preserve its unique way of life, making it a fascinating subject of study for those interested in traditional Sri Lankan culture and history. Location and Geography Mimir is located in the Knuckles Mountain Range, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, within the central province of Sri Lanka. The village lies approximately 50 kilometers from Kandy, the nearest major city, and is accessible via a challenging scenic road that winds through dense forests and rugged terrain. Its geographic isolation has contributed to the preservation of its natural environment and traditional way of life. Historical Background The history of Mimir is deeply intertwined with the broader history of Sri Lanka. Its roots can be traced back to ancient times, with evidence of early settlements that hint at a rich cultural and historical legacy. Over the centuries, Mimir has witnessed various phases of development and change, particularly during the colonial era and post-independence period. Significance and Unique Characteristics Mimir holds a unique place in Sri Lanka's cultural and natural landscape. Its significance lies in its ability to maintain traditional lifestyles and practices amidst the pressures of modernization. The village is also renowned for its stunning natural beauty, diverse flora and fauna, and the resilience and hospitality of its people. These characteristics make Mimir not only a living museum of Sri Lankan heritage, but also a haven for nature lovers and cultural enthusiasts. Historical Background Ancient History The ancient history of Mimir is a tapestry of early human settlements and cultural development. Archaeological findings suggest that the area has been inhabited for thousands of years, with evidence of early agrarian societies and their practices. The village's strategic location within the fertile Knuckles mountain range provided a suitable environment for these early communities to thrive. Early Settlements Early settlers in Mimir were primarily engaged in agriculture, utilizing the fertile soil and abundant water resources to cultivate crops. These communities developed intricate irrigation systems and agricultural techniques that allowed them to sustain their livelihoods in harmony with the natural environment. The remnants of ancient terraced fields and irrigation channels can still be seen today, testifying to the ingenuity and resilience of these early inhabitants. Historical References Historical records and local folklore provide glimpses into the village's past. Mimir is often mentioned in ancient texts and oral traditions as a place of refuge and retreat. During times of political upheaval and conflict, the village's remote location offered a safe haven for those seeking to escape the turmoil of the outside world. These historical references highlight the village's enduring importance as a sanctuary and stronghold of traditional culture. The colonial era The colonial era brought significant changes to Mimir as it did to much of Sri Lanka. The arrival of European powers, particularly the British, introduced new economic and social dynamics to the region. The imposition of colonial rule disrupted traditional lifestyles and brought about changes in land ownership, agriculture, and local governance. However, the village's remote location allowed it to retain much of its cultural heritage and resist some of the more intrusive aspects of colonial influence. Impact of Colonization Colonization had a profound impact on the demography and culture of Mimur. The introduction of new crops, agricultural practices and economic structures altered the traditional way of life. However, the resilience of the local community enabled them to adapt and integrate these changes while preserving their cultural identity. The colonial period also saw the construction of new infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, which facilitated greater connectivity with the outside world. Changes in demography and culture The demographic composition of Mimir changed during the colonial period, with the influx of laborers and migrants from other parts of Sri Lanka and beyond. These demographic shifts brought new cultural influences and practices, leading to a blending of traditions and customs. Despite these changes, the village remained a bastion of traditional culture, with many of its ancient practices and beliefs continuing to thrive. Post-Independence Era The post-independence era marked a period of significant development and change for Mimir. Following Sri Lanka's independence in 1948, 
The village experienced a renewed focus on economic and social development. Government initiatives aimed at improving infrastructure, education and healthcare brought tangible benefits to the community. However, these developments also posed challenges, as the village grappled with the pressures of modernization and the need to preserve its cultural heritage. Developments and Changes The post-independence period saw substantial investments in infrastructure, including the construction of roads, schools and healthcare facilities. These developments improved the quality of life for the villagers and enhanced their access to essential services. The expansion of tourism also brought new economic opportunities, allowing the community to diversify its income sources and improve its standard of living. Modern History In recent years Mimir has gained recognition as a destination for eco-tourism and cultural tourism. The village's unique blend of natural beauty and cultural heritage has attracted visitors from around the world, eager to experience its pristine landscapes and traditional way of life. Modern history in Mimir is characterized by the community's efforts to balance development with conservation, ensuring that their unique heritage is preserved for future generations. Geography and Environment Topography The topography of Mimir is dominated by the rugged terrain of the Knuckles mountain range. The landscape is characterized by steep mountains, deep valleys and numerous streams and waterfalls. The village itself is situated in a relatively flat area surrounded by dense forests and towering peaks. This dramatic topography not only defines the village's natural beauty, but also shapes the lifestyle and activities of its inhabitants. Mountains, Rivers and Valleys The mountains surrounding Mimir, including the iconic Knuckles Range, are a defining feature of the region. These peaks provide a stunning backdrop and offer numerous opportunities for hiking and exploration. The village is also crisscrossed by several rivers and streams which are vital for agriculture and daily life. The valleys and lowlands around Mimir are fertile, and support a variety of crops, contributing to the village's agricultural productivity. Notable Landmarks Mimir is home to several notable landmarks that attract visitors and hold cultural significance. These include the Lakegala Mountain, which is steeped in local legends and believed to have mystical properties. The picturesque Hinganga and Kadula Oya rivers, along with numerous waterfalls, add to the village's scenic charm. The ancient terraced fields and traditional homesteads are also important landmarks that reflect the village's historical and cultural heritage. Climate The climate of Mimur is influenced by its elevation and location within the central highlands of Sri Lanka. The village experiences a tropical climate with distinct wet and dry seasons. The monsoon rains which occur from May to September are vital for agriculture and contribute to the lush green landscape. The dry season from December to March brings milder weather and is the peak tourist season. Weather patterns. Weather patterns in Mimur are characterized by significant rainfall during the monsoon season, which supports the village's agriculture and sustains its rivers and streams. The dry season offers clear skies and pleasant temperatures, making it an ideal time for outdoor activities and exploration. These weather patterns have a direct impact on the daily lives and economic activities of the villagers. Impact on lifestyle and agriculture The climate and weather patterns in Mimir play a crucial role in shaping the lifestyle and agricultural practices of the community. The monsoon rains provide the necessary water for rice paddies and other crops, while the dry season allows for harvesting and outdoor work. The villagers have adapted their routines and practices to align with these seasonal changes, ensuring their livelihoods are closely connected to the rhythms of nature. Flora and Fauna Mimir is renowned for its rich biodiversity, with a wide variety of flora and fauna thriving in its pristine natural environment. The surrounding forests are home to numerous species of trees, plants and flowers, many of which are endemic to the region. The village's diverse ecosystems support a range of wildlife, including birds, mammals, reptiles and insects, making it a haven for nature enthusiasts and researchers. Biodiversity The biodiversity of Mimir is one of its most valuable assets. The forests around the village are teeming with plant life, including medicinal herbs, rare orchids and towering trees. The area is also a habitat for various animal species, such as monkeys, deer and a variety of bird species. The rich biodiversity of Mimir contributes to its ecological significance and offers numerous opportunities for scientific study and conservation efforts. Conservation efforts 
Conservation efforts in Mimir are focused on preserving the village's natural beauty and protecting its diverse ecosystems. Local and national initiatives aim to promote sustainable practices, prevent deforestation, and safeguard endangered species. Community-based conservation programs play a vital role in raising awareness and involving villagers in efforts to protect their environment. These initiatives help ensure that Mimir's unique natural heritage is preserved for future generations. Culture and Traditions Local Customs and Traditions the culture of Mimir is deeply rooted in traditional customs and practices that have been passed down through generations. The villagers follow a way of life that is closely connected to nature and their ancestral heritage. Local customs such as traditional farming methods, community rituals and folklore play a central role in daily life and reflect the village's rich cultural heritage. Festivals and Celebrations Festivals and celebrations in Mimir are vibrant expressions of the village's cultural identity. These events often revolve around agricultural cycles, religious observances, and community milestones. Major festivals such as the Sinhala and Tamil New Year are marked by traditional rituals, music, dance, and feasting. These celebrations provide an opportunity for the community to come together, strengthen social bonds, and preserve their cultural traditions. Daily life and social structure. Daily life in Mimir is characterized by a close,
Thank you.